Hi everybody and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. Now sitting next to me on my right is the latest Apex Predator pickup truck to hit the market. That is the Ram TRX. And if you want to see a full in-depth review, it's already here on the channel. But I have to be honest, we took it off road here in the deep snow and I was a little disappointed. So I really wanted to see, you know, how it would stack up. And the only other truck I have here today is this guy. That is my 1985 Chevy K10. And in this video, we're going off road. We're gonna bury them in the snow and we're gonna find out if old technology is actually better than new. What do we have right here? Well, this Ram TRX is a monster. 6.2 liter supercharged V8, 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. This thing also comes with tons of off-road goodies, uh, a rear locking differential, a whole bunch of different driving modes that are gonna you know, tailor your throttle response and your traction control to that specific setup, plus active suspension. So yes, this truck has every single one of the latest technologies on the market that should make it great off-road. But this truck, on the other hand, has none of that fancy stuff. This is my 1985 Chevy K10. It does have four-wheel drive, but no locking differentials here. And of course, it is modified. I put a four-inch lift underneath this truck, and those are a set of 35-inch tires. And I don't know exactly what my clearance here, but you can see it. It's better than what that Ram has over there, and I think that's going to help me today. Another big advantage I have here with the Chevy is weight. That Ram weighs 6,350 pounds. It is a heavy beast. My Chevy, I don't have an exact weight for you. My gut tells me it's probably between 4,000 and 4,500 pounds. And uh, out here in the snow, I think that's gonna help me, but we'll have to see if the lack of all that fancy tech hurts. Me. And if you've never seen Big Green before, this truck began its life as a project over on TFL Truck. Now Roman and the boys bought it and then Chevy USA donated a ZZ6 crate engine. That's a 350 V8 with 400 horsepower and they installed it. Now I bought it off Roman about two years ago and drove this puppy home to Canada. So if you're curious about the early days of Big Green, all of those videos are still live on TFL Truck. Make sure you go check them out. Okay everybody. Here we are, big green in the snow. Now I have had this truck out in the snow before. This is definitely the most snow I've had it in. Plus this is the only time I've been proper off-roading in the snow. So let's see how she does. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad so far. So I've got her in four wheel drive high. I have no lockers here. I do have four low. I might use it in a little bit, but for now I'm good to go. Now, the tires on this truck are a set of Cooper STT Pros. Um, this is a set of tires that's pretty much as close to a mud terrain as you can get without getting a mud terrain. They're still technically ATs, all terrains. They are M plus S mud and snow rated. So Cooper says they're ready for the snow. And on road, I've been impressed with them. Now, I don't drive this truck on road in the winter, at least not this winter, it's been sleeping. But out here in the deep snow, so far, everything's good. Oh, she's digging in a bit there, though. She's definitely digging in a bit there. Now, of course, my truck here is a manual. It's a four-speed, and the first gear, technically the first gear, is a crawler gear. And that's actually what I have it in right now. And of course, when you're off-roading in a manual, gearing makes a big deal, a big difference because of your speed, right? You don't want to be going fast, and the actual gearing is going to dictate that speed. And for me to get the right speeds out here today, yeah, I want to be in that creeper gear. Okay, a little sit rep. Dad's out here shooting me today on the ATV, and he was supposed to follow me, and he's nowhere to be found. I'm going to go ahead and guess the ATV is miserably stuck somewhere. It's a lot of snow out here today, folks. Uh, our Yamaha Grizzly has been struggling through it, just about able to make it. But uh, yeah, if you go in the wrong space or take one wrong turn off the trail, you're screwed. So let's go see if my hunch is right. Oh 
you had to winch. Uh, I knew you were back here stuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you made a mess. Yeah. We've also figured out how much snow you can drive this Yamaha 700 in. <laughs> Not this much. We've hit the limit. Okay, continuing down the trail here. Now I need to mention too, I'm not breaking the trail. The TRX broke this trail in fresh snow, and you know, that thing is so heavy, you could just feel it sinking into the snow. Big Green is not that heavy, so it does not feel like it's sinking into the snow as much. I'm not gonna say it's floating on top of the snow, but it has more of that sensation from behind the wheel than I was getting in that TRX, which was just plowing through. And seat of the pants, it's all about weight. And this truck is just so much lighter, that's really helping it get through. But now we're getting into the tough part, the hill, and we'll see what happens. So this is the spot where the Ram TRX did not make it. And uh, there was a couple of reasons. One of them was definitely I was just scared. It's one of the tightest spots on the trail that I kept getting stuck and the rear end kept you know, going right and left on me and I did not want to tag a tree in Ram's brand new truck. Um, but then besides that, yeah, the grip just wasn't quite there and I couldn't get up the momentum. Plus that truck is heavy. I know I keep saying it, but it has to be said. So, uh, Big green here. Obviously, I don't have any of the fancy electronics. I don't even have a locker. But what I do have is lightweight and a little more confidence because if I tag a tree, at least it's my truck and not Rams. Uh, okay, I'm in four wheel drive low. First gear. Come on, big green. Let's see it, buddy. So I'm in the rut still with the TRX. Come on, big green. Watch the tree. Turn for me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's chugging. It's chugging. Come on. Yes, yeah, big green. Big green. Yeah, baby. Come on. Come on. Yeah. No. No. Darn. Oh my gosh. I made it further than the TRX did, but then I dug in up here. I think. Oh, what do you say? I think it'll do it. I'm feeling more confident than I was in the TRX. I think we'll make it up the hill. It's just right, right on the deepest part of that hill. Just the tires are struggling for traction. Plus, you can't see them, but there's a bunch of rocks under there. So you know those things are slick too. Well, I but know the rocks are there. I'm, uh, I gotta hit it one more time. I gotta try. I gotta give it an old college try you and at least feel good. Here. You gotta back up at least another 20 feet. All right, let's try it. Okay, my last big try here to get up this hill. Um, I'm gonna try it again in four high. I've, I tried it in low. I got good wheel speed, but I think I want a little more and I want speed in general. So, uh, let's see if we can't do her here. GoPro, still rolling. Let's see what happens, everybody. Let's go, YouTube, we got this. We got this. I just needed that momentum. It clawed its way up there, right on big green. Oh man. Sometimes old technology, man, you just can't beat it. So the feeling I'm driving out of here with is sometimes old simple technology can actually be better. That TRX is incredible, but it's so heavy. And the reason why it's so heavy is because it's designed to go 100 miles per hour in the desert, okay? So I also admit, this is not what it's designed to do, but there just is something to be said for make it simple and add lightness. Oh, sorry, simplify and add lightness is the quote, right? So uh, simplify and add lightness was all about racing, but simplify and add lightness applies to off-roading as well. Big set of tires and uh, a lightweight vehicle, four-wheel drive, you're good to go. Well, folks, that is it for our day out here on the trails with Big Green. 
honestly, I've owned this truck now for you know going on two years, and after what we did today, I love it even more. I think it was really impressive out there. And no, of course, it doesn't have any creature comforts. It's not even a crew cab. Um, I don't have any touch screens. I don't have any screens. So the Ram beats it in a million different ways. But when it comes to going off road, sometimes simple, basic, and lightweight is the way to go. So guys, that's it for this video. Of course, I wanna know what you think. Let me know down there in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of the channel and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. And uh, our day is done, so I'm gonna tuck this girl back in the barn so she can sleep for the rest of the winter. Great job today, Big Green. See ya!